Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created my portfolio in order to get uh, amazing graphic design jobs initially as a graphic designer and also as a social media manager. So uh, the whole portfolio is created in Canva. There are a lot of templates and if you want to purchase Canva Pro, then definitely check out the link in the description box. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can also create and what elements are required in a particular portfolio as a freelancer. So if you are any kind of freelancer, basically, then you can start out with the Canva and uh, you can start earning online and once you have a solid portfolio and you have things to show in your portfolio you will understand that you will get clients very easily so here i'll show you my graphic design portfolio so here you can see this is the first slide and on the first slide i mentioned my name and what the portfolio is about so if you are a copywriter if you are a social media manager then you can write social media management portfolio you can write graphic designing portfolio and you can also add your own photo here or you can add it in the second image so now here you go into the second slide which is my story slide and here i've written a little about myself started freelancing as a side hustle with my job in the year uh, in jan 2020 now a full-time freelancer following my passion every day and helping businesses with their branding branding and marketing plan now you can also highlight a little about yourself in the second slide and highlight what you do currently now here you can next slide can be what you can do what can i do for you you can you know straight away copy my portfolio if you want the design you can change a little but uh, try to innovate uh, your creativity into your portfolio so here you can see i have added planning and strategy graphic design sales and paid ads now sales and paid ads i don't usually do it right now but mostly initially i was trying to do that as well that's why i've mentioned it here you can add whatever services that you're offering in the third slide only so uh, the client knows that okay she is offering these kinds of services next moving on uh, how i work on a daily basis now here you can just give a glimpse of how uh, your process of working is i've added my three steps of working the content that you need go out every month every month will be researched and scheduled campaigns are created with various ad sets and the best ad set is kept running every two weeks an audit report is uh, generated and the progress level to the client has will be reached so here you can just tweak a little things and make it much more attractive also notice that i have mentioned my website here for creditability so you can do that too now comes the portfolio where i showcase my designs now these are the graphic designs that i've made in canva completely and i've not used any kind of advanced tools uh the designing aspect of it comes uh once you are you know doing a lot of uh, practice on your designs initially even i didn't know how design worked i used to make all sorts of designs and trust me at that time i felt like those designs were really good but now when i look back and check those designs oh my god it was a disaster <laughs> so now if you see here i've mentioned i have this is my this is for my own brand that is digital arva and i've made this design but it looks so unique and eye catching right so next this is for a client brand pure care that i had been uh, working with them initially as a freelancer as i started out i no no longer work with them since uh, the pricing was a bit low for me for now so um, you can see i have made these kinds of uh, posts for them and i managed their social media as well now here you can also add some e-commerce images um so if you are targeting people who are amazon who are in amazon and they have amazon websites so then they'll offer you can offer them services like these 
and you so you can see like these e-commerce images and product images so have a mix of both the things like service based businesses as well as product based businesses moving on here i have uh, links now these links are very important now here you can add your video editing links your infographics your instagram page your carousel links which you have done for clients so all the important links that you need to add please add them and do these i think clickable links so you can click on them and i'm not clicking on them right now but uh, you can click on them and add the links in your portfolio and send it to your client as a pdf so here you can see i've added three reviews uh, of mine where people are talking about how good i am at my work and try to highlight good points as much as possible just trust me and this is going to work wonders for you now here also i have added snapshots of my fiverr account where uh people have given me good reviews for my design services see you do not need to tell the client that okay these are from fiverr account so please go and buy those services from there for cheaper no you can just just mention snapshots like these in your portfolio and it will get highlighted now next and the uh, second last slide will be why hire you now here you need to mention something that no one else does i've spent a lot of time perfecting my graphics and trust me i'm not going to let you down with your social media needs i love helping coaches and consultants with their graphic design needs graphic design is close to my heart and i put in effort in each piece of work i make i have worked with many clients all over the globe i make sure the customer is 100% stat- satisfied with the graphics i provide so this gives you a level of trust when the client reads this so definitely hire why hire me is a very important slide that you need to mention and last slide which is um definitely the contact me slide you can add your phone number you can add your email address and you can add your website here i've blurred my phone number for personal reasons but you can do that as well so here if you see some design tips i would like to give you make sure it is simple and clean so uh, don't put too much of design effort if you are a copywriter or if you are someone who is not in a design section like i am so don't put too much effort into your portfolio but just make sure that your portfolio reflects your work the quality of work that you do so i have tried to keep my portfolio as simple as possible i have um, added these kind of small elements there and infographic style portfolio but if you want you can have a word document as well but uh, this video is just to show you how exactly and what elements that you require inside a graphic design portfolio um so i hope this video was super helpful for you and uh, if you haven't checked out my previous video where i show you how you can uh, find clients online definitely check it out it's in the link in the description box and also there's a video on fiverr where i show you how you can make money online with fiverr with canva so check that video out as well till then if you like this video please make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a new video till then bye bye